Welcome back, guys, to the Saturday guest slot. Today, we have none other than the amazing Mana Man here, jumping into alchemy with an amazing deck of his own creation. I do encourage you guys, go ahead, check out his channel after this video. If you enjoy what he has to offer, go subscribe to him. Tell him we sent you. We would really appreciate that. And Mana Man, thank you so much, my friend. Enjoy the video, guys. Ladies and gentle mages, civilians across the multiverse, welcome back to another episode with Mana Man. And today we are on It Resolves. And I'm just going to go ahead and give you a big old shout out and a big thank you because thank you for having me on the channel. It is an honor to be in cahoots with some awesome, awesome Magic the Gathering content creators. So a little bit of introduction to me. I am Mana Man. I love it alliteration and I make decks every single day. We make, I just started making Explorer and Historic and soon to be Brawl decks on top of Standard and Alchemy. Obviously, this is an alchemy deck. I have been a very pro alchemy stan, I guess you could call it, since the format first came out. Now, I know a lot of people don't like it, but I think that personally it is a fun format and there are a lot of fun cards to be had to be played in it. So this is the deck here. We pretty much have a World Tree Kami War type of deck here. Now, this is the first alchemy card. If you are new to alchemy, I guess I'll start with the alchemy cards first. This is the key to the archive. It comes in tapped, but you can grab anything from a spell book. Now, spell books are pretty much three random cards that you can conjure, I guess, and then you get to pick one. So I'll go ahead and flip through these, you know, spell books. So obviously, Key to the Archive is more of a slow, rampy type of card. It does come in tapped, and you have to discard a card, but the trade off is you get to get a card from the spell book, and then you get two mana in any combination of colors once you um, can untap it and tap it for mana. So that is really nice here. Obviously, we've got the World Tree. This is this card is really awesome. It does come in taps, but then once you get six land, you can tap every single land you have for whatever color you need. So that goes really well with the Kami War because obviously you need a bunch of different mana colors for this. And you also have the Celestis, which also helps as well. And we also have the Tiamat. The Tiamat is doesn't come up a whole lot, but it is still good. And it is a two things. It's a dragon, so we do have dragons. We've got Belladros Witherbloom. The Kami Warp turns into a dragon, which again, World Tree Dragons is kind of the theme here. World Tree Dragons, really fun theme. Zyatora, because why not? We have Imrith, Desert Doom, Cura the Boundless Sky. I don't remember if I'm uh, Witherbloom. I don't remember if I missed the queen here. And last but not least, we've got Kaidai, Soul of Kamigawa. This has Flash. And again, you see kind of the, the theme here. Whenever you have the World Tree out, you have the five different colors here, and then Kaidai can get plus five, plus five, four, five of the different colors, which is really, really fun here. And this thing is a god, so you can use the World Tree, and you can sacrifice the World Tree for ten. This is a lot of mana, but we do have a lot of mana sources here, especially with the key of the archive. Put any number of god cards onto the battlefield, and Tiamat and the god of the tree is a god. So worst case scenario, if it's late game, you're really grinding, you need something, you get this Tiamat out. Really cool stuff here. Obviously, we're on Tamio, just because why not? You know, Tamio is just so cool. I absolutely love this card. It can slow down aggro as well. The Doom Scars and Farewell are needed because we do get steamrolled by aggro quite a bit, and we are running quite quite a bit of land. But that is the deck here. I'm very excited to be on It Resolves. Make sure you subscribe to It Resolves. Make sure if you're not already, because this is going up on It Resolves, make sure you subscribe to me, Man to Man. That would be wonderful. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and make sure to leave a like. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. Gods, how are we doing here? Gozi or Gods? I don't know. We'll call you Gods here. Let's go ahead and keep this. We do have the World Tree set up. We have the, we have the Kami War. The Kami War is so awesome. And it aligns just perfectly with the World Tree, because the World Tree needs six land, and this costs six, so it works out perfectly. Now, what's not too perfect is going against an aggro deck. I'm assuming this is going to be a little aggro-y. Down to 19. That's not a big deal. Let's see if we can... Oh, oh, oh no. Thalia is going to... Oh, that's going to be pretty rough here, because now we can't really go for Jawari Disruption on time. Unfortunate, so let's go for... Hmm. Let's... Should we actually just play the Jawari? I don't think so, because on turn 3, we're going to want to go for the God of the Tree. So I think we actually have to play this. Because this comes in tapped no matter what. And in turn 3, we really want to get into the God of the Tree. Just because it is good for... Just for defense. It's a 1-4 wall. On top of ramping, so... Alrighty here, so they're going to train. That is brutal, but at least they... It looks like they might miss a land drop here. Nope, just kidding. Hey, like, when you play against Mono White, they don't make it easy on you. They don't. So let's go for Dream Root Cascade. So we might want to keep this for the Scry, I guess. So we'll do this. Play our Zika, Essica? I don't know. But either way, it's got a really pretty animation. 
We do block out the adversary, so hopefully they don't have some sort of removal. If they just remove the god of the tree here, swing in and like it, it, and train with the adversary, it gets nasty quick. We so okay. We if they don't have like a one of those brutal cathars or something, wow, they're gonna swing all. That is intimidating. I guess we have to kill the adversary. We do get a positive, very positive matchup here. So okay. Down to eight, but we at least do get a kill, and that kill is going to be pretty huge. Maybe we should have killed the Thalia, but we don't really have anything to play anyway. We do get a Doom Scar. We do get a Doom Scar, which is nice. So one, two, three, four. We can flash in the Kaya die, but that would require us to tap the the God of the Tree. So I think we do this, play it for White, and do we want to scry or untap here? We do have a Doom Scar. I think we we're gonna have to use this Doom Scar. So we can probably just scry instead. Key to the archive. I guess we can keep it. It's it's kind of whatever. But instead of going for the Kaidai, I think we, we set up for the, the Doom Scar. We kind of already we've already like made our bed here, so we kinda of have to do that. Uh, we do have vigilance, so we could have swung in. Swung swung in. Not really gonna matter here. All it's gonna matter is that like I said, the extra damage here is not gonna matter here. All we have to do is just prevent as much damage as humanly possible. So I'm actually going to do this rather than kill the Thalia. Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We can go for Doomscar no matter what. So I'm more worried about just the damage rather than killing the Thalia right here. And of course they could go for like Wandering Emperor or something. So they're going to go for a Ganjo. That's actually kind of okay. Again, we, we've already made our bed here we're going to go down to three but we're going to be able to get into this doom scar and that is all i care about it's literally all i care about so this forsaken crossroads which is a delight to have we call out another white because we do need two white for the doom scar we're going to untap it and then we're just going to go for a nice healthy doom scar get rid of this nasty board here all of our things are going to become cheaper now and this is so good here because now we have the Kami War. Oh my gosh, another Thalia. No way. Oh, just brutal. We do get a, a Teferi though. So let's go ahead and set this down. And now the World Tree is activated. Would have been so nice to get into this Kami War. But this Thalia is going to tax us just out of range here. So I think we have to play the Teferi. Because we, we are at three life here. So I want to drop this Teferi. And let's go ahead and just Me do some tapping here. No artifacts. I just want the, a raw amount of life here. Maybe the only reason, if we had a higher life total, I would go for Key to the Archive. But they do run Wandering Emperor and this Intrepid Adversary. So they could just buff up the Thalia and kill us. So again, if I had like, you know, 10 life or something, I would go for the Key to the Archive first. But we just needed that raw life total here. Skyclave Apparition is going to take care of our Teferi, which sucks. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time before we defeat you. You do get another land, which is wonderful. Let's go ahead and place this down. And because our World Tree is activated, we've got the World Tree sleeves and everything. It's not going to matter. Um, at this point, I think we can just go for Farewell. It's kind of... We can wait for the Kami War. The Kami War is a little bit more sexy, but because they have two cards here, I think we just don't mess around. Let's just exile everything. We're not messing around here. And plus, we will get a 4-4 back. So, now we get the 4-4. Hopefully, we can go for Kami War. That'd be pretty fun. Another Thalia. At this point, the Thalias don't matter. So, that is going to be just wonderful. We get another Doomscar, but we don't need the Doomscar at this point. At this point, we can just go for the Kami War. And we have, what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Just enough. Just enough to slam this Kami War down, exile this Thalia, get out of here, exile, and I'm actually... The way we win this match is going to be establishing control, so I'm not worried about the damage here. We're just going to be, you know, I don't think they have any sort of haste, but they do get rid of... Oh, they can get rid of my comp? No. They can't get rid of the Kami War, duh. What am I thinking here? But they do get rid of our token, which is fine. Not the end of the world here, because the Kami War, we're going to get rid of the... Brukathar for the lore 2, and they have to what, exile a or discard a card from their hand. So we know they have one card left. We know they have the Brutal Cathar. We know it. We know it. And at this point, we can go for the key to the archive. Yeah, let's go for key to the archive here. 
Time Warp. That's pretty cool. Destroy target artifact or enchantment, or we can go for regrowth. There's not really anything that cool with regrowth. I think we'll just take a Time Warp. That seems pretty fun. I guess we can discard... Ah. This comes in tapped, right? Doomscar. I guess we can do that. Again, we know that they don't have haste or anything, so I guess we just foretell this and we can be on our merry way. We're going to be able to go into Okagachi Made Manifest, and that is going to be just wonderful. So, Brutal Gathar, we're not going to give them anything to take. Oh, baby, now we're really getting juicy. We are getting juicy. So, now we can go for Sunset Revelry. We gain life. Let's see. I guess we can just use this to gain life. I mean... Now, let's, go for, let's just go for Time Warp. Time Warp here, we're going to take an extra turn. And now, because this has Summoning Sickness, obviously, we're going to be able to just swing in next turn. So let's go for Sunset Revelry, gain a little bit of life. And now, look at this. Whenever it attacks, the defending player chooses a non-land card in your graveyard, and I get to return that to my hand. So whatever they pick is going to still be pretty gosh darn good here. Let's go ahead and swing in. Okagachi made manifest. We are made in this match, baby. Let's go. So they choose the Tangler. That's fine, though. That's no big deal. Any any card that we get is just a free card here. And look how good this is. We're going to play Teferi. And we're going to be able to untap the key to the archive after we get it to go for some mana here. Time for a complex plan. Time for a That's complex a plan. So we actually don't have anything we can really play with this. So actually, we could choose up the one artifact and then untap it. But we actually don't have anything to really play with it. The Kaidai doesn't have, um, with all the mana sources here, plus five, plus five, we can't do that. So I'm actually going to go for the minus two here. Just see if we can get it. Just all land. Ew. Spoiled a surprise. Ew. Well, that's kind of gross. We don't really get anything too fun there. So I guess we'll just go for the World Tree. And we can flash in the Kaidai, and things should be good. Still at seven life. Even if they do have, like, another Brutal Cathar or something, we'll still be okay with the Kaidai. They actually can't kill it either, because, again, we can flash in the Kaidai, Soul of Kamigawa, and then it gets indestructible. But if they exile it, we'll just be kind of out of luck anyway. So they're going to try and take this Brutal Cathar, and probably... Oh, they're going to attack our face. Well... That is why we have the soul of Kamigawa, Kayadai. Hello. I guess we'll go ahead and give it to the Okagachi. And they just finally scoop it up. They've had enough. The World Tree Dragons take it. SRB2 Extreme. How you doing here? Let's go ahead and keep this. We have a World Tree, which is pretty phenomenal. We'll go ahead and drop the World Tree anytime you can. You pretty much just want to get the World Tree online because it comes in tapped, and that's really annoying. So let's see what we got here. Zayatora's Proving Ground. Interesting. All of our all of our lands come in tapped. That's that is a problem to a certain degree. Sometimes the Forsaken Crossroads does not, but none, nonetheless, this, this is a problem here. So we can't even really ramp up into our Teferi, which is typically what we want to do here. But we do have a Tamio, so I guess we'll go ahead and drop this. We'll call out White. It's fine. Scry. We do need a lot of land in this deck for the World Tree, so we definitely will keep that just because getting into the six for the World Tree into the Kami War pretty important. Racketeer boss. Okie dokie here. This is an awesome little alchemy card. Whenever it enters the battlefield, you're going to choose two creatures or planeswalkers, and whenever they cast it, they get a treasure token back. So this card is absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Let's go and drop the Dreamer Cascade, and we'll go for our little Tangler. Maybe we can go for Tamiyo without paying the Phyrexian life this way. And even if they do kill the Tangler, we have the Teferi. So Cabin Ready Revels. Here we go. I already know, again, this, this deck is everywhere, and I'm not going to lie to you, I am kind of a spokesman for alchemy, but I'm just going to be honest with you, right now, alchemy is a little toxic because there is an unstoppable loop going on, which is really unfortunate. Mm, I really wish it was not around, but it is nonetheless. So I guess we'll go ahead and drop this. Let's go for, we're still quite a ways away from being able to go for the Kami War, which is unfortunate, so I guess we'll just go for Teferi. And I'm just going to do some searching. I want to get into Farewell. Well, that is not Farewell. I guess I guess we can just take the, the Jawar. It doesn't really matter. It's um, it's pretty much a tap land no matter what we choose here. So I guess we'll just go ahead and do this. This Jawari can be important. So they're going to go for uh, Bergy. And then they get some more stuff out of their deck here. 
So that is problematic. So as soon, this is what they're going to be wanting to do here. They go for a card called Grinning Ignis, and then they cast Bergy. And for one red, you can just keep replaying it, and it's the unstoppable loop. It's really unfortunate that this deck exists. I'm not going to lie to you. This Cabaretti uh, Rebels deck is just absolutely bonkers levels of insane. So we pretty much need... We pretty much need a, a board wipe, or else we pretty much can't win. So hopefully we can get Only into one. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. But it's not looking great here. So they can go for if they have what the, the grinning Ignis, which is okay. So they don't, which is nice. We're still one land away from being able to do the Jawari disruption, but I think we kind of have to keep this thing up. Let's go ahead and place down Tamiyo. We don't have to pay the life here, so let's go ahead and do this. What they want to do is just keep storming the battlefield. The synthetic destiny. It's our synthetic destiny, Tamiyo. Let's see if we can do this. Let's go ahead and tap the Voice of the Blessed. Or we can go for even Teferi. No, let's go ahead and Voice of the Blessed here. So it's going to prevent it from attacking next turn. Delay our victory. Hopefully we can delay this voice of the blast because we are delaying their victory. Because if this can't attack, what they want to do is use the Cabaretti Rebels, use the Veteran. You can already just kind of tell the theme of this deck here. They want to just go for unlimited loops and then take the voice of the blessed and pretty much just swing in and do a one hit kill. But if we tap this thing out, that at least gets rid of their opportunity to do that. So, you know, we're trying. We're trying here. We're doing our best here. We can go for the Kami War. And get rid of the Cabaretti Rebels. Hopefully get into like a Doom Scar or like a Farewell or something. Because as of right now, play a land. There's another Cabaretti Rebels. At this point, we're literally just going to need like a Farewell. Because the Cabaretti Rebels is just so crazy here. They're actually going to swing in. Wow. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and chump block here. We do have the, the land necessary. Oh, there. Yeah, so... If they're gonna swing all in on the Tamiyo, we might as well just let it go through. Because it's dead. She's dead no matter what. Sorry, Tamiyo. A minor setback. It's just a minor setback. Our victory is inevitable. It's no big deal. Minor setback. So here's the problem. They have got two Cabal Ready Rebels. I mean, that is a huge issue. We pretty much need a farewell. We are running two, so you know, there is hope. See what our opponent wants to do. Hopefully they don't have a card they can play. So the Kami War is pretty nice. We can exile target permanent. They control. We're going to have to go for the Voice of the Blessed. Because these Cavalry Rebels, I mean, they are taking their sweet time here. So there we go. We get the Farewell. And that is absolutely wonderful. Let's go ahead and place this down here. And we can just exile everything. We don't have to worry about these Lunark Veterans coming back. We don't have to worry about everything. So we are just going for it everything and i mean everything let's just go ahead and just do it i am not worried about it farewell get rid of everything boom get rid of it all no more loops for you we, this lunark veteran has disturb but we don't even have to worry about it baby we get rid of all of their things here and from here on out we have the world tree that is just set to absolutely dominate jetmere's garden whatever go ahead and draw for some things here we're gonna be able to get into the kami war here Lunark Veteran, that is fine with me. And they call out green for Forsaken Crossroads. Let's see what they scry. Did they put it on top or the bottom? They put it on the bottom. That means they don't even like what they see, which is absolutely wonderful. Let's go ahead and drop this down. The Kami War is going to exile them. So we don't have to worry about this thing coming back for the Disturbed cost either. The Kami War, baby. Let's go ahead and get rid of the Lunark Veteran. And now they're just in pure top deck mode. So no more crazy combos, no more Cabaretti Rebels, no more gaining life to the high heavens. The Voice of the Blessed, look how good this is. They don't even let us get the Kami War going. Good game. Yuke, I am your father. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's go ahead and keep this. This is a pretty good hand here. Uh, they do take a, a mulligan. I always do on my channel. We always give them a friendly mulligan hello because everybody needs a friend when you take a mulligan. You hate to play, you love to play against it. You hate when it, when it happens to you. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. It happens to all of us. Let's go ahead and set down the World Tree. Getting this World Tree established on turn one because it does come in tapped is going to be very, very nice. So it seems we are going at Jet Mirror's Garden. Okay, well, I think we're going to set down the Forsaken Crossroads for blue. 
Can't really hold up this Jawari Disruption, but that's okay here. The Tangler. I think we're going to put away the Tangler. I don't think we have any positive matchups. Plus, if we had Tangler on turn two to get into the key to the archive, we'd be more inclined to keep, but that is going to be a no-go. So here's the Racketeer boss. This is a new alchemy card. Choose up to two creature cards in your hand, and then they're going to get, um, whenever they enter the battlefield, they're going to get some treasure tokens here. So, with that being said, I think our hand just kind of plays itself. We do have this Jawari Disruption, which again, could be really nice here. I'm still a pretty big believer in the Jawari. So let's see what they want to cast here. Ooh, let's see. So the Lunark Veteran, this is why this card's so good, because if you put this on a Lunark Veteran, it literally replaces itself. So, a little bit scary here. They don't play anything else, which is pretty nice. Mm, getting into this Farewell is going to be pretty good. The problem with this deck, if you're not familiar with Alchemy, and I know this is going to seem quite weird, but it's so imperative so imperative that we that we can stop their combo because this is a combo deck here we're gonna go for key of the archive to try and get into this farewell um it's it's not looking great here i know this is a little bit premature to be getting a sweaty but i'm telling you this deck is absolutely filthy we're gonna have to take the lightning helix because i have to disrupt their combination here there's really no other option i guess the kaida is probably the least useful thing here but we are all tapped out so if they have a way to drop the Grinning Ignis, um, then we're... The Grinning Ignis, again, if you're not familiar with the Grinning Ignis... Okay, so just the Cabo Ready Revels. I think that's okay, actually. The Cabo Ready Revels, we can get rid of with the Farewell. Hopefully they can get into this Grinning Ignis. Okay, so the Cabo Ready Revels is going to put out a Lunark Veteran. And you see how they get that free Veteran with the Cabo Ready Revels? Every time you cast a creature spell, something a little bit less. But this is going to be okay. It's going to be okay because now we can go for Farewell. And we're going to be able to take away pretty much everything they have. So I guess we can probably keep up the Jawari. We can probably just play down the forest. Yeah, we're just going to have to. And now that they bust their treasure token, we actually can just go for the Farewell. And we can get rid of everything. Definitely enchantments. Definitely. Pretty much just get rid of everything except for artifacts. We want to keep our key to the archive here. So we're going to get rid of everything here, and that is going to be literally farewell. So now even if they do get into the Gritting Ignis, ooh, okay, so they get the captain. So they can still get into the Ignis. So there's the Bergy. Okay, so what happened? Okay, there's another point of um, concern. Is the Bergy, when they get out the Bergy and the Gritting Ignis, every time you cast a spell, you add red, and then they can just keep replaying itself, so... Hmm, what do we want to do here? We have to keep up a Lightning Helix, no matter what. I think we can go for Tamiyo. Let's go for Tamiyo, and we can pay the full cost here. And still have two mana left open for the Lightning Helix. So, hello Tamiyo. Phyrexios Rise. Let's go ahead and tap, um... I think we might want to tap the Treasure. Uh, okay, we'll tap the captain, because we're probably going to use the lightning helix to kill the Bergy. Such an imperfect form. So let's go ahead and place this down. I guess we can call out either green or blue. Let's go ahead and call out uh, white, blue, green. We still have the key of the archive, so it actually doesn't really matter that much. We'll go ahead and put this land away, as we have enough land. So let's go ahead and end the turn. We're going to keep this lightning helix in case they have... The Gritting Ignis, we can save it. So, Jetmir's Garden, okay. We also have the Jawari Disruption. Okay. So, now we just go for the Lightning Helix. We can get rid of this Burgate. We gain a little bit of life here. And now we're starting to really take control of the matchup here. More land. Like I said, I'm just worried about that Trellisara Moon Dancer here. So, I already know what they're trying to do. So,. With the Trellisara, they want to get this infinite loop, and then if they have the Lunark Veteran out, these Lunark Veteran and the Voice of the Blessed, when you get the unstoppable loop, you just literally have an unstoppable loop, and every time you gain life into a creature, it is absolutely insane, but let's not worry about that right now. We're worried about the good stuff. Tamio, do your thing. Let's go ahead and tap you. 
Our will cannot be denied. Our will cannot be denied. And it will not be denied because we have a prismatic bridge. Let's go ahead and set down the prismatic bridge. Because our world tree is activated now, we have all the different colors that we need. And we go end the turn. We do have this Jawari up here. I don't I don't think it'll be relevant. And they just scoop it up. Prismatic Bridge can't get into its thing, but you see how the deck works. ADHD, how are we doing here? That is hopefully some high definition. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's just get the world tree down. Always a good, always a good idea to get this thing down again, because there's so, so many times where you're gonna wanna play something and then this has to come in tapped. You won't be able to do it. Just get it tapped down and you'll be fine. So this Tangler, man, we have so many tap lands in this deck. That's kind of, you know, that's kind of the, the drawback of being able to have such a funky deck. Let's go for Forsaken Crossroads. I guess we'll call out blue in case we get like a um, Dream Rope Cascade. Let's go ahead and keep it. We definitely need a lot of um, land for the World Tree, so we'll go ahead and keep that. What's really nice, a really good power move is actually going for the Tangler. And then going into Teferi on turn three, because you get to ramp up. But unfortunately, the cookie does not crumble that way. We have all these tap lands, but it is what it is. Geist Channeler. So they're going to make something cheaper in their hand here with the Geist Channeler. Okay. Okie dokie. I think, I mean, yeah, we can just go for the Tangler here. And then just go for Forsaken Crossroads again. We'll call out white. That's fine with me. More land, one, two, three, four, five. So we need, we do kind of need the sixth land for the world tree to get into all of our different colors here. Just in case we get into a Tiamat or, you know, a, you know, something here. We want to be able to have all of the world tree activated, even though we do have the Tangler. So Amiria is going to come and tap, and they don't play anything for this whole turn, which is kind of nice. So here's why it's kind of nice. We're going to drop the Dream Root. Well, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter here. And instead of going for Cura, I think they have Jawari in their hand. So by playing the Teferi, we can go for Teferi, and then we, oh, so they don't have the Jawari. So I was I was paranoid for no reason. I know, I know. I'm right on time. Right on time. Let's go for, I just wanna dig for our, let's like see if we can get something cool here. So we had Veladros. Veladros was kinda cool more so with, more so with Tiamat. So I guess we can probably just get key to the archive. Key to the Archive is a little bit more important here, I think. So let's go ahead and grab that. We can always snag the Belladros later with a Tiamat or something. Plus we don't... Plus with Will with the Witherbloom Queen, we can untap all of our lands. But we really don't have that... We can't cast her anyway, so... It feels bad. You know, we want to get into the Belladros Witherbloom. That's really cool here, so... Oh, okay. This is hardly my worst defeat. This is hardly our worst defeat. No big deal. No big deal. We're actually just going to take that because... Um, because of reasons. I do want to get a, well, we'll be able to get around on their Jawari, and they didn't even have the Jawari the first time, so I think we just go for the Dream Root Cascade, or not the Dream Root Cascade, I think we can go for Dream Root Cascade and then Key to the Archive here, yeah, let's do that, I said we're playing way ahead of Jawari, so that's okay, let's see what we want to do here, we have a, ooh, Counterspell, do we have enough blue, we don't have enough blue, unfortunately, because this is double blue, that's unfortunate, Lightning Bolt, I guess we do want the counter spell though. I think that's the most beneficial thing to us right now. And I guess we'll get rid of maybe the world tree. Yeah, it does come in tapped, which is kind of annoying. And we already have a world tree and we can go for the clue token here to draw another card on their turn. I think that's pretty solid for now. Pretty solid. Let's see what they got. Oh, Seagate Restoration. Wow, they're going to be able to draw all of these cards here. And then they have no unlimited hand size for the rest of the game. That is pretty terrifying. Holy Moses. So, okay, let's do that. Let's go ahead and crack open our clue token. We've got a clue. I love clue as a kid. All right, we're sitting decently here now. Let's go and drop this. And now the world tree has been activated. I think we can go for... Why is it telling me to tap this? One, two, three, four. We kind of do want the Cura out, but I think Key to the Archive probably gets us into our win condition. I guess we could do this. Yeah, this is pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and drop our Cura on the bottom of the sky. I think this is like an immediate threat. Still pretty good here. And then we can hold up this counter spell. The counter spell is pretty interesting here. So maybe we swing in here. Because we have to be aggressive at some point, because they have a billion, billion cards in their hand here. So let's go ahead and end the turn. 
This counter spell is kind of nice. You know, the key of the archive does get you a lot of different things here. Professor of Symbology, that's fine. We'll let that resolve again. We are packing a counter spell, and there's no way that our opponent is, you know, planning on, you know, seeing a counter spell here. So you got to think they've got some land here. I don't think they dropped their land drop yet. So introduction for I think we'll let that go. I don't really care that much. We'll just wait until they drop like the big scary card so that we can counterspell it. Let's go ahead and fix up our hand here. So uh, is this going to do it for their turn? Kind of a weak sauce turn, if I'm being honest. But we don't really have the best things in our hand here. We can clear the board, but we don't really want to. These cards are more so better for aggro matchups. Forsaken Crossroads, okay. We got to kind of turn on the jets here and just attack. We got to turn on the jet mirrors here and attack him. Another key to the archive. That's not the end of the world because the key to the archive, we can discard away our cards that we don't want as this does need a, um, a discard here. So let's go ahead and do this. What do we want here? This is, these are not good cards. See, like, this is not really the good. This is the downside of running key to the archive is we can have win conditions in the, in the spell book, but sometimes you just don't get them. And these cards are not very good. So I guess we'll take the Electrolyze, get rid of the Doom Scar, I suppose. Mm, I guess the Farewell would be more beneficial here. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. And now we can go for Electrolyze and a Counter Spell. I don't know why it's telling me to do the Tingler. So let's go ahead and swing with the Cura. And then we can go for Electro. I mean, again, we have to tap. The Tangler. I don't know why it's telling me not to. Just because we need to go hold up the counter spell here. So I guess we can actually just do that now. So let's tap you. And then electrolyze one to you and then one to you. Draw. And then we still have two mana for the, the counter spell. So now we get to drop our land drop, which is what we wanted to do. Which is nice. It's not really nice that we draw a land drop, but it's nice that we get to play it. So whenever the Cura dies. Because we do get all this land, we create an XX Green Spirit Creature Token, where X is the number of lands we control. So Wandering Emperor, we're going to have to counterspell this thing. So hopefully we get... The, okay, so we do get that to go. Our Cure of the Boundless Sky is safe for now. Restoration of a Ganjo. Okay, so we could search their... For a Plains, right? Okay, so they do have 11 life here. We do have to be kind of careful here. What's nice about the World Tree... Ooh, now we're going to be able to get into a Prismatic Bridge. That is pretty cool. So we actually could use this, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we have the World Tree. So we can use this World Tree to search our uh, car, or our deck for gods. And I, I know we're at least running the Tiamat. I think that's going to be more beneficial here. So let's go ahead and swing in with the Cure of the Bomb of the Sky. We'll do 7 damage here. I know we're at least running the Tiamat here. What other gods are we running? I think we should probably put a little bit more gods in here. But one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Plus we have a Tangler, so I think we can we can uh, pass the turn here. Again, not going for the Prismatic Bridge because they only have seven life here, and I think we we might have a chance. Maybe again, might have a chance to swing in for like lethal if they do something crazy here. So we're gonna be able to get another what Professor of Symbology, I would assume, because the Restoration of a Ganjo, yeah. So, let's see what they want to do here. They do get to learn. They get to get anything off their sideboard. I'm not sure what they want here. Maybe like a mascot exhibition. So, oh, they're going to go for reduce some memory. Which is kind of unfortunate because now we don't get the, the big spirit token from the Cure of the Boundless Sky. They're going to go for farewell instead. Ooh. That takes away our key to the archive. That's not good. Okay. Well, we can't go for the world tree now because the, because the key to the archive. That is really unfortunate here. We do get our own farewell, but our farewell is not nearly as effective, unfortunately. So I guess we'll just go for another key to the archive here. We go for prismatic bridge. Yeah. Oh, that really puts a damper on our day, though. I guess we'll put out the prismatic bridge. Um, I'm actually not going to doom scar here or at least foretell because i want to be able to discard this card for key to the archive so yeah that farewell really put a damper on our day here that really because they got rid of the key to the archives 
Now they reduce the memory. Now we're slowly withering away, unfortunately. Really, really unfortunate here. Um, let's see here. Gosh, that farewell. We could have went for the World Tree and got the Tiamat out and swung in for lethal with the seven. Plus we have the Cura, but because they exile everything, even our artifacts, so brutal here. So they do have the Restoration of Aganjo. They're gonna do the Aganjo thing again. Let's see how we can play this out here. We can go for Farewell and Exile only enchantments. I think we do want the key of the archive out. Eventually, we want to get into this world tree or something. So I guess we will do this. Plus, we can, we, it is possible to grab something kind of good here. Demonic Tutor, destroy a target artifact or enchantment, split second, and our counter spell. I think we definitely, man, we do want a counter spell up here. We also could go for Demonic Tutor. What do we want to tutor? I'm trying to think of all the cards in our deck right now. One, two, three, four. I think it's just probably a counter spell. I know it's kind of boring. We'll get rid of the Doom Scar because the Farewell actually helps us out a little bit here. No attacks. But at least we can at least holding up a counter spell is pretty powerful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we actually need another land if we want to get into the world tree here. Man, that farewell really did us in, though. We, we were, oh man, that, like, I think that's the only card that could have saved them. I think that, that's probably the only card, right? Because we would have went into the Tiamat. I guess they could have had something else here, but... Let's go ahead and let this come in. No point in really chump blocking here. Hopefully they just sink all their mana into something crazy and then we can use, make use of this counter spell. They do not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. So now we can go for the World Tree, and they do have 7 life, which is pretty cool. Hopefully they don't have another fair, or yeah, another farewell. We actually have our own, which is kind of funny. But let's go ahead and pass the turn here. Yeah, no point in really doing anything else. Oh, not good here. So Restoration of a Ganjo. We can always chump block if they go for the Hall of the Storm Giants, if they really want to just put in like a massive beatdown on us. So, a Mario's Call, I guess we have- oh god. Should we counterspell this, or should we go for the World Tree? Because they're flying, it creates such a problem. Oh man, what do we do here? I think we have to probably counterspell this thing. Oh, this is brutal. I think we have to, like, there's just, I mean, because we want to get our Tiamat in, but because these things fly, I mean, there's nothing else we can really do here. We Now we can't go for the World Tree, which is unfortunate. Still not going to chump block here, because, again, they still have this Hall of the Storm Giants looming. So if we block here, we just create, like, an all-out uh, situation where they just kind of murder us. Forsaken Crossroads does not do anything. Literally nothing, which is brutally unfortunate. We do get the Kami War, though. Maybe the Kami War can give us some sort of edge here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Want to make quadruple sure that we can go for the, the World Tree here, if need be. Which, you know... They still have 7 life. That's the only thing I'm really clinging on to. So, Discover the Formula is actually not really the end of the world here. I want them to really commit to the board to really give us an opening to win. I think it's pretty much do or die at this point here. I mean, they're just going to create one ones into the high heavens. I guess we have to just take it. I guess so. So we're, we're hanging by a thread here. We're down to six life. Let's see, maybe they maybe they cast something else here. Um, really scary here. We do have the Kami War. Hopefully they don't kill our key to the archive here. Tasha's hideous laughter. What the heck? What in the world? Okay. Um, I was not prepared for that. I guess we have to use the World Tree now in case they exile our gods. 
So I guess it's now or never. Let's go for the world tree. We're activating the world tree. I don't want you to, to hideous laugh my, my gods away. So let's go ahead and sacrifice it. We're going to search our library for god cards. Put them onto the battlefield. We only have a Tiamat and a god of the world tree. So whatever. We might as well just put them out here. Um, the god of the world tree has the legendary rule. But we didn't want them to get exiled. So if they exiled the Tiamat, we wouldn't be able to snag it. And again, this at least gives us a slight hope of winning. It's not a good chance, but they do have seven life. The team has seven power. They do need some sort of like spot removal, maybe like a divide by zero or something here. So again, I mean, they, I mean, we at least have a chance. The team at obviously having seven life, they have seven or seven life. We have seven power, they have seven life. They've got all these cards in their hand, which is pretty terrifying because like, I mean, all they need to do is just get rid of the Tiamat and then our way, oh wow. Devastating Mastery. So they're gonna go for Devastating Mastery. I choose out the two non-land permanents you control. I guess we'll go for this and this, right? So we can cast the Tiamat and go for Prismatic Bridge, I guess. Do I have, how many dragons do I have? Do they, how many, oh, they got rid of our Zayatora, our Cura. I guess we, we'll, we'll just do this then, I guess. Clear the board. Celestis. But we got rid of our, oh wow, I forgot. I forgot we got rid of our world tree. So we can't even cast the Tiamat. That is brutally sad. Okay, well. I guess we can just do that. Yeah, that's really bad. That's really bad on me though. Um, I guess we'll go for the Celestis here, change it to Knight, get rid of the Farewell. Yes, I will take the action. I guess we'll get rid of the Forest, sure. Also, we'll head again because we cast two spells, so that's kind of nice. But, man, we're, that was really brutal here. Jawari, I guess we'll get rid of the Jawari. So, I guess we just need, like, another World Tree. Oh gosh. Not good. That devastating mastery single-handedly um, saved them the game, though. We were so close. We were so close to being able to win with the Tiamat. Now we don't have the World Tree. Unfortunately, we're probably going to have to scoop it up. But we really gave it our all. We really, really did. Professor of Symbology. We're even lower on the land count now, too. So i um, not sure how we win this one. The Celestis does give us other color other colors forsaken crossroads i guess we'll choose red just so we can you know maybe hopefully get into a tm at here we do get the kami war yeah we're gonna have to take that we're gonna have to take that so i guess we'll just keep celesti celestus ing up is that a word take action get rid of the farewell but now we can at least, with this red Forsaken Crossroads and a Celestis, we can at least cast these things. Oof. And that is going to do it. They have the Hall of the Storm Giants. Unfortunately, our Celestis life gain is just going to be just out of reach. And, uh... That's going to do it. I had a fun one. Again, though, you saw, again, I know it sucks to submit a loss, but you saw how close. If they didn't have a devastating mastery, we would have won with the Tiamat. I'm sorry I couldn't deliver, but really close game there. Good game. Thank you guys so much for watching today's guest slot video featuring the amazing man of man if you did enjoy this video please make sure to leave a like leave a comment down below and make sure you go subscribe to man of man show some love show some support for other content creators in the space we do hope you will stay tuned for next week's guest slot video we've got a number of them lined up and if you are a content creator feel free to contact us we do have a contact form on our website it resolves mtg.com if you would like to sign up for this guest slot opportunity please feel free to get in touch with us. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you again tomorrow.